Hi everyone, this is Moshe Zussman and I made a little video to go with the article I wrote for uh, Shutter Magazine about uh, pageant glamour and I'm going to go over a little bit of the process of doing a pageant shoot, some of the lighting, the props, the mood and the post-production. So uh, this is about a shoot that I did with Mariella Pippen. She was Miss Maryland Teen USA in 2014. By far one of my favorite models to shoot. Um, we did, as you can see here in the quick collection, uh, 456 clicks total in about an hour or less. And uh, I'm going to walk you through the process. Uh, removing all the filters in Lightroom, going all the way to the first shot. First thing I do while uh, everybody's getting ready and hair and makeup is almost done is I start setting up my lighting. I uh, use a clamshell for this setup. I typically do that for fashion, for pageants, for glamour. And uh, you can see a lot by the catch light. That's an old trick. You want to see how a photo is done. Just analyze the catch light. And you can see a beauty dish. There was no grid on, just 45 degrees over the camera. And uh, that's all you can see in the catch light so far. And as I'm setting my uh, mood and the atmosphere and my lighting, I am uh, starting to build up the setup. There is a background light behind her. As uh, you can tell here, the, the zoom reflector on the Profoto D1 is aimed at the wall, but it's not firing yet. I like to measure my lighting each one at a time. I don't use light meters. Uh, I'm sort of a what you get in camera, what you get on the screen when you tether is what you see. Um, and I start adding lighting and props. And you can see now the second uh, light reflecting from below. It will be done either with a 1x3 strip box or with a reflector. This is with a box, a soft box, a 1x3. And you can see that here in the catch light. And um, as I set the exposure and I'm starting to get the right amount of exposure on her skin and the right catch light, I'm always careful with the height of the beauty dish. You can see it kind of peeking into the frame here. Because a little too high, you're going to lose the catch light. A little too low, you're going to get really flat lighting. Um, so keep an eye on that when you do that. And um, I have a, uh, some white cubes as, uh, as for posing props. I like to incorporate hair uh, fans as we used in this one and the crown and the sash. And uh, just let the models have fun. We always play music in the background. I'll sometimes bring a DJ just for that, just to, to keep things fun. And uh, we're actually going to do that at Shutterfest 2017, so check it out. Uh, moving on with the shoot, as you can see, just once you get the lighting consistent and, and you're happy with it, just start having fun, shoot with the model, interact with her. Um, occasionally the makeup artist will come into the frame. Uh, horizontal or vertical shots don't really matter. I'm just watching where I'm cropping it. Uh, you can always zoom in later and crop, but you can't sketch back, paint back the photo, so keep an eye on that as well. Um, the fan is blowing. Occasionally there's a misfire, but very rarely with pro photo lighting. Uh, the fan is blowing. Make sure you don't put too much fan into it. So that's, that's as far as lighting. Very simple. One light opening up the background if needed and a clamshell setup. Um, later you'll see that I added a grid for hair light later. Um, here's some final shots starting to peek in. Uh, I'm going to skip forward to changing the background to just a savage universal uh, seamless paper, um, pink in this case. Uh, again, the amount of light you're going to throw in the background will determine the tonality, the, the tone, and the color, and the vibrance of that background. Uh, makeup artist comes in, music playing in the background, we're all having a good time. Um, sometimes you got crazy days with crazy hair, but it's all good. And keep on going. And uh, I'm going to skip to adding a a five-star filter to any semi-finalist photo that I've taken. As you can see, there's a ton of those here, 157. I'm going to narrow it down to um, all the raw images that I liked. There were uh, 12, I believe, final images, uh, a few from each, each look. And uh, now I'm going to add the JPEG, the high-res JPEGs into it as they were retouched by Christy Shirk. And uh, let me show you some befores and afters. There you go. Um, we lower the shoulders, we thin the arms a little bit, smooth the skin, add volume to the hair. Um, almost like when you change perspective 
distortion on the lens, it, it, it sort of changes uh, the shape of the body a little bit. Uh, fill in the hair gaps right here. Clean up hairline flyaways. A little bit of skin under the eyes, of course. Uh, anything that, that needs to be done for such a, such a shoot. Uh, here's another one. Let's look for one that does not have any cropping so that you guys can see exactly uh, what was done. There you go. A little bit of liquify here and there just to shape. It's not to skin or fatten anybody. It's just to shape them up. And uh, filling hair is important. When you work with a fan, the hair gets all over the place. Um, one of my favorite frames uh, let's see, I, I took the background and enhanced it here. And uh, going back to this one, this is also one of my favorites. So there's a little line here, uh, little leftovers from the dress and things like that. But it's always the same. The lighting is consistent, the quality is going to be consistent, and you're going to have a lot of fun shooting uh, fashion. It's fun working with beautiful people that know what they're doing in front of the camera. Uh, this is pretty much what I do when I do those pageant shoots. Uh, I work with the different pageants and we create imagery for them that will serve them for publicity throughout the year. Um, yep, that's it. I'm looking forward to Shutterfest 2017. Mariela is going to be there with me, so come check out the platform. Take care.